Hi guys, welcome to the first of our video on the Jim Blitz YouTube channel, where today we're covering Ark Survival Ascended, motorboat base build with an included creature dino trap, where you can tame dinos easily. Now, this is for motorboat only, not raft. I will do a separate video of a similar build for raft only. If you find this video useful and enjoy it, please give it a like and please consider subscribing. It would be great to have you around. But without further ado, let's get into it. So, kicking things off, the very first thing you're going to do with your boat platform is snap the foundations to ground level using a stone fence foundation and two pillars either side of it. The older pillar and thatch foundation technique that was used in the previous ARC game does not work in ARC Survival Ascended. However, this um, tip on screen, this technique, in my opinion, is so much quicker and so much um, cleaner in how to getting you to snap foundations pretty much perfectly as you want them. Now you can see here that I've only been able to put down uh, five to six foundations. However, beyond that, you can then snap ceilings in place. For this design, we're going to use a length of six ceilings by a width of three ceilings. Just remember once you've placed all of the floor to pick up the stone pillars and the stone fence foundation so that you can then continue to build with no sort of snapping issues. Now, if you do encounter any issues with the dino gate from being placed first when you come to put the ceilings, with ASA's new great building system, um, you can actually go up to the gate and gate frame, remove them, they go back into your inventory, you can add the balls and ceilings and then reattach it after, which is a great new feature. So hopefully that helps to show how you can utilise the space. I know it's narrow inside, it might not suit everyone who plays Ark. Uh, some people might like a bit more space, but for me, I feel that you can use the space well, compress everything in, everything that you need basically to, to have a fully functioning base. So now that we've finished building, let's move on to show you how you can use the taming section and trapping section in the front of the boat. So you grab a creature's aggro, simply run up into the ramp, let them get inside, run out the doorway, close the gate, and that's you trap them. As simple as that. There'll still be moments that you'll take damage, like in this example here with the dire wolf, you know, the bigger creature, faster creature coming in, gets them inside though, and you can close the gate and that'll be you safe. With Thylacolio, probably. Yep, he's going to get you. Oh, go and give me another one. Yep, there you go. Still, able to get outside, able to close the gate, and they're trapped. This method um, can be useful to those that do PvP as well, considering that you can obviously trap a creature, um, even if it's something like a high-level creature that you're that you're desperately looking to to try and tame and you've got the, the worry of somebody coming in and interrupting it, you can obviously trap the creature inside and drive out into the middle of the ocean where you're hidden and kept away from other players to do that with no harm. Here I'm showing you that you can obviously trap a Carno. This trap is big enough for a Carno, 
and you can effectively knock one out. I was actually just going up on the roof to finish him off, but I'd already hit him enough. Now, I do not recommend trying to get an Allosaurus in here. However, I'm just showing you here that the trap is big enough to hold one. However, I wouldn't go any bigger than an aloe because then you're going to have danger of them reaching you and reaching your stuff. This taming chamber will work with flyers like Argentavis. They will aggro to you and you will be able to trap them in here. But I'm just showing you an example that if you did need a Pelagornis for whatever reason, you can actually scoop them out of the water using the ramps and then easily knock them out from there. Now, do not attempt to try and tame a raptor this way. Here's why. Oh, hello there! So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope that you got something out of this. If you did, please give it a like, and please consider subscribing, as it would be great to have you around, and I will see you in the next one.